So, so I'm driving down the freeway, and I'm listening to the traffic report, the helicopter guy on my car radio. Do you listen to the helicopter report? Yeah. Tell me if this has happened to you then. I'm barreling down the freeway, and um, I heard myself getting a head-on collision. <laughs> Well, it's pretty good. Normal back up southbound Allen City today. Of course, I'd avoid northbound going on wall. Wait a minute. Looks like there's a red Ford Fairlane. He's kind of careening off the... Oh, my God. Swerve! <laughs> By the way, you are being filmed the laughing to, uh, I guess, uh, show that these jokes are actually funny, so that's nice to know. <laughs> I got a 66 Ford Fairlane, big old car. You know how people have got those stupid stickers on the top of their windshields? Say like Turbo, ZX, you know what I'm talking about? Camaro. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Mine says, no insurance. <laughs> I get the right away, pal. <laughs> where I come from, I don't know if they do this, uh, where you come from, but where I come from, if you don't pay for your parking slot in the big downtown parking lots, they chain a big 55-gallon drum to your front bumper. <laughs> Stupid. Like one of these little wimpy barrels is going to stop a Ford Fairlane from leaving. <laughs> I got four of them. <laughs> four barrel. <laughs> now, you know, I, I hate rude people. I hate it when people are rude, and especially driving. You know, we got a lot of pressure here in L.A. I have a very hard time with Mercedes, people in Mercedes. Is it just me, or... Uh... Yeah. It's just me, right? <laughs> I, now, now tell me if I was in the wrong here, okay? I gotta I'm driving on the freeway. I gotta change three lanes to get this exit over here. There's a guy in a Mercedes behind me, right on my head. Just right, right there, okay. And so I'm changing lanes. I got the blinker on as I'm changing lanes. Zip, he comes up around behind me. Now he's upside me, right? He's taking the one, you know, he's one more up on one person, okay? I'm not so much angry that he's cut me off so much as I'm thinking, how many other people has he cut off throughout the day? How many other people has he squashed with his little Nazi finger and they didn't do anything because they were afraid he might squash them too? So I decided we'd find out who had the right of way. My $800 car versus his $800,000 car. I'm changing lanes. He's leaning on the heart. They need to put better horns in those Mercedes. As expensive they are, you know, they just... Yeah, right. Eventually, he sees my way and lets me in. And... Okay, now, this is a great true story. We come up, he fo follows me off the exit, pulls up alongside me now at the, at the stoplight, gets on his cellular phone. Ooh, he's reporting me. I get out of the car, take off my shoe. All right. All right. Hang on a second. It's for you. think if one of Jerry's kids walked into a 7-Eleven, would it be okay if they paid for their stuff with the money in that jar on the counter? <laughs> the hotel rooms where I stay, they always have the television set bolted to the desk. Like that's going to keep me from taking the television set. Well, I look at it. I get a desk too. Uh, oh, thank you. I've got cockroaches in my house, and they're afraid of the dark. Every time I turn off the light, you can hear them go, Yikes! <laughs> True story. <laughs> Figured out a great new way to get kicked out of a Denny's. You want to hear it? <laughs> okay, it's pretty simple. Uh, what you do is you mess with the waitress until she goes away to get the manager. While she's gone, take one of these little ketchup packages, 
Put it in your hand. Tear a little corner off of it. Take your steak knife. Stick it in there. <laughs> manager comes back. Denny's manager. <laughs> What seems to be the problem here? <laughs> go like this, go. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, best part of it is, as he's throwing you out, <laughs> the law says if you ask for a job application, he has to give you one. <laughs> about what it would be like to eat a live seagull? <laughs> Guess it's just me. <laughs> you ever hold a door open for a stranger out of common courtesy? Let them walk through first? You know? And they just walk through and don't say anything? Like it's your friggin' job. <laughs> Worse yet, some people stick their hand on the door while you're holding it for them. <laughs> Like you were planning on slamming it on their face. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> a lot of people be pretty nervous up here. Being on TV in front of all these people. A lot of people be pretty nervous just being stand-up comic. But I'm a professional. There are three nevers for stand-up comedy. <laughs> Never follow a better comedian than you are. Never give a heckler the last word, and it's the third. Never let him see you sweat. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the improv, a very funny man. His first time on network TV, uh, Brian Haley. Thank you. These, these two nuns are, are walking through the park, and, and, and one was assaulted. No, wait, no. <laughs> one, two peanuts were walking. Oh. <laughs> Here's a quick impression here for you. Here's what it sounds like on the inside of a burger joint when people use the drive through How many people have worked at a burger joint before, one with a drive through yeah, one person. Sure. <laughs> I walk in the burger world. May I take your order, please? This is the inside. Of the burger may I take your order, please? like anything to drink with that?